hi welcome to one and all next we will be discussing uh, go sum associated with digital characters before going to the uh, subject matter we will be uh, discussing a few uh, preliminaries which we need in our discussion uh, i hope you have already studied uh, what is characters characters of a finite abelian group the gba finite arbitrary group a complex valued function f defined on g is called a character of g if f has the multiplicative property f of a b is equal to f of a f of b for all a b in g and if f of c is not equal to zero for some c in g this means that uh, f is completely multiplicative and the other important property which we will be discussing uh, in our results is for each character f we have absolute value of f of a is equal to 1 and uh, here uh, the reciprocal 1 by f of a is equal to the conjugate complex conjugate f of a bar thus f bar defined by f of f bar of a is equal to f of a whole bar is also a character of g so this is this result we will be using in our uh, theorems uh, next uh, i hope you know what is mean by residue so i am not going to discuss that uh, hope you know what is a reduced residue systems by a reduced residue system modulo m we mean any set of phi of m integers in incongruent modulo m each of which is relatively prime to m this means that we have to uh, select one residue class one residue element or one member of the residue uh, class modulo from each and uh, that consists of the reduced residue system modulo m so uh, next we will uh, discuss about the Dirichlet characters let g be the group of reduced residue classes modulo k corresponding to each character f of g we define an arithmetic function chi is equal to chi f as follows chi of n is equal to f n cap if gcd of n and k is equal to 1 and chi of n equal to 0 if gcd of nk is greater than 1 this is uh, what we call the uh, Dirichlet character means that uh, so we have to note that uh, chi of n is equal to f of n cap if gcd of n cap nk is 1 and chi of n is equal to 0 if nk is greater than 1 the function chi is called the Dirichlet character modulo k and if uh, we take uh, instead of n if we take chi 1 that means the principal character chi 1 which has a property that chi 1 of n is nothing but it is um, 1 if gcd of nk is 1 and 0 if uh, gcd of nk is greater than 1 so now uh, we will be uh, going to the results um, we will be discussing what is goes sum Gosum is actually uh, the generalization of uh, the Ramanujan sum which we have studied earlier. Uh, let us see what is the definition of a Gosum. For any Dirichlet character chi mod k, the sum g n chi is equal to sigma m equal to 1 to k chi m e raised to pi i m n by k. This is called the Gosum associated with chi. Now, if chi is equal to chi 1, the principal character mod k this is called the principal character mode okay so uh, we have chi 1 of m is equal to 1 if gcd of m k equal to 1 so chi 1 of m is equal to 0 otherwise so this is the definition of a principal character now uh, in this case if we put uh, uh, m is equal to 1 we are what we are getting is chi 1 and chi 1 is nothing but chi 1 of m is nothing but 1 if gcd of m k is equal to 1 so we can uh, recall we will get the definition of a Ramanujan sum. So, gn chi 1 is nothing but sigma m is equal to 1 to k gcd of mk equal to 1 e raised to pi i m n by k which is nothing but ckn which is the Ramanujan sum. So, we can consider go sum gn chi as the generalization of the Ramanujan sum. Next, we will uh, go to one theorem on this uh, based on this uh, Dirichlet character uh, and the go sum if chi is any Dirichlet character mode k then g of n chi is equal to chi bar n g 1 chi whenever gcd of n k is 1 let us see uh, how the proof goes 
so I, I will repeat the theorem that is if chi is a any Dirichlet character mode k then g of n chi is chi bar n times g c d of 1 chi whenever g c d of n k is 1 so let us see the proof when g c d of n k is 1 then if g c d of n and k is 1 uh, we know that and uh, suppose we uh, we suppose that uh, the numbers runs from r is equal to 1 to some k or some uh, uh, some other number uh, goes uh, this this uh, this numbers goes uh, in the complete residue system mode okay uh, we use the variable r for varying the numbers then clearly uh, nr will also run through the complete residue mode k so that is what the highlight is if gcd of nk is one this only happens so if gcd of nk is one uh, so in that case so whatever we are taking r it is true for nr also when this n is n and k have the gcd gcd of n and k is one so in that case uh, so this concept we will be using in our uh, result so this is for the same let's we have already seen this earlier also now uh, before that uh, uh, chi of n that is this chi of n is the uh, Dirichlet character chi of n absolute value of chi of n square this is a complex valued function so this chi of n square is nothing but chi of n chi of n bar something like uh, mod z square is is a z bar like that chi of n is modulus of absolute value of chi of n square is chi of n chi of n bar but we know that this chi of n is uh, chi of n absolute value of chi of n is one which when we have seen the characters we have seen that chi of a is one so like that uh, some f of a absolute value of f of a is one like that chi of n is one so absolute value of chi of n is one so this we can see that this uh, chi of n chi of n bar is one now uh, now let us see what is chi of r chi of r since chi of uh, one it can be written as chi of n chi of n bar we can write chi of r as chi of chi bar of n chi of n chi of r so now we can combine these two terms chi of n and chi of r because these two are multiplicative the, by the property of multiplication uh, from multiplicative property we can write chi of uh, n bar times chi of n now let us see what is g of n chi now by the definition of g of n chi we have summation r mode k r mode k and this k is not that so typographic error as uh, r mode k means it will go from 1 to k so this k is not there r mode k is chi of r chi of r by definition n chi is because we have taken n chi is uh, runs from uh, this complete mode this new system mode k uh, runs with r so we can write r mode k summation r mode k chi of r e raised to pi n r by k now by definition this chi of r can be replaced by chi of chi bar of n chi of n r so that we have replaced that chi bar of n summation r, r mode k chi of n r e raised to pi i n r by k now uh, if this varies from if this uh, this complete residue system modulo k varies from varies with the r then it same same thing will vary with nr also nr also so that we can replace this nr by some m so that it will vary with the m so that we can write chi of nr can be replaced by m so we will get chi bar of n summation m mode k chi of m e raised to 2 pi i m by k and this is nothing but by definition this is g of uh, this is what this is uh, this is by definition this is chi bar of n times uh, now what is this this is nothing but g 1 so we have obtained the result. Hope you have understood the uh, result properly.
uh, this we can see here. If you have any queries, you just ask me uh, by using the messages or by phone. Thank you for your patient. Listen.